Well, Storm's no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Okay, Delta. Our way out's on the other side. <sighs> We got swarm, people! Get behind those sand glass things! They're called Bogorite! Yeah, tomato, tomato! damaged. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Made of the world, no pressure. 
Hear that? Storm's died down. Yeah, now that we're through it. Come on, let's check on the skiff. Foss, Del. When do you get the other side? Come on, Delta. Let's get back to the skiff. You know something, Kate? You're pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done showing the corporal compliments, we should decide whether we're heading straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh, man. I'm seeing an engine must oh. Fortunately, it doesn't happen often. So there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So why'd they build their Hammer Dawn program so close to the COG border? That's gory technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. So a paddock's nomads up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, it seemed pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Bear trusts paddock, we trust bear. So by the transit of property, we trust paddock's nomads. The tr transit transitive wolf? Books, Foz. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. Now, honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Works for me. And so we meet again. Let's get that thing to Baird. Lead the way. Paddock, where's Baird? In back. He was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little bot friend. It was boring, so I came out here. You should probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. <laughs> and you think that's going to save the world? Baird, we're here with the beacon. Excellent. I'll meet you around back. Wait. If set that targeting beacon down. I'll deal with it in a bit. Gladly. Listen, kid, you still got a rocket to launch, and I need to get back to New Ophira. Yeah, right. Of course. JD, we're fine. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. I appreciate that. Thanks. Paddock said you were working on something? Yeah, uh, a new and improved shield prototype for Jack. Go ahead, install it.
Is there any particular reason we're not moving? The module, please. Anytime now. Installed. Tell us about it. It's actually very interesting. First, it creates an ionized vector. Baird! Cancel cross and get out here! Swarm coming in! Short version, it stops bullets. Now get up here and use it! Delta, come on!
airfield secure. No bear can get the big man. Come on! We still have shit to do in this bloody desert. Alright, Delta. Back on the skip. Get back on the skiff. Delta, I'm heading out. I'll be in touch. All right, Baird. Safe travels. You too, and good luck. So, what's the plan now? The hangar. It's time to put that rocket together. Sounds good to me. What about Paddock's nomads? They have stuck their necks out for us. Maybe we own something for that. Sure, but if we don't get our rocket launch soon, it's not just Paddock's nomads we'll be worrying about. Okay, let's get moving.
We still need to attach the nose cone to the rocket, right? You know, I may have complained a bit. Or a lot. Or a lot, thank you, Del. But this has actually been a pretty ripping time, all in all. To sum it up, 8 out of 10. We'll do it again. And it's been surprisingly not terrible having you alone. Yeah, I'll take that, yeah. Get the other side. Let's finish this. Paddock, we're back at the hangar. Everything should be ready. Good. Baird left instructions he asked me to read you. And I quote, Get inside. Initiate the rocket assembly procedure. Launch aforementioned rocket and hope these satellites talk to ours. End quote. Wait. Hope? the satellites talk to ours? What do you want from me? I can barely turn on a computer. Go press the button and see what happens. Oh boy. We can understand why he never lost his way. And there we are. Everyone's favorite rocket. Let's get down to the platform and throw a switch. Yeah. See what happens. This better work. Paddock, rockets assembling. Look out! There's a bloody snatcher in here! Son of a bitch! No, I, I think it did that on purpose. Who gives a shit? We need to get that nose cone back into place! Oh shit! Catch us back!
Rocket delivered. What now? Now we raise it into position. Manually, from the looks of it. Which Come means on. we need to find the control room. Yeah, initiate launch. Oh. And then head back to base. Ugh, oh, bloody hell. No one told me hanging with you lot would be so much work. Well, the UIR definitely didn't design this with a jack interface in mind. All right, Jack, go ahead. Don't be shy. supposed to happen, right? Doesn't make it any less weird. Thank you. And there you go. One rocket successfully raised. Need 
need some spot translation. Wait a minute. You initiated launch? Uh, maybe? Then get the hell out of there, now! Go, go, go! Guys, down here!